and here we go again. Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat, etc. And of course the children and grandchildren will be coming to visit, won't they? And what do you give the grandchildren to uh, do while you're sitting having coffee and drinks, etc. over the Christmas period? The kids want to be on the computer, but there's nothing there for them to do. You're fed up of um, Windows Paint because uh, they're bored with that. So we need to find something to keep them occupied for a couple of days even. And I found such a, a monster uh, on the internet, if I go to the internet, the uh, program is called The Little Painter, L-I-T-T-L-E, Painter. And it's from a site called Softpedia. And if I can find it again, we shall do what we can to install it. Here we are, Little Painter download from Softpedia. Right, th this is the website. Um, best thing to do, rather than uh, take all this uh, website address up here, uh, all that oops taking all that lot and typing it in just do a search for little painter and look for the one with the softpedia underneath it like this one here okay that's good um, click on download to download it it's an external mirror site so um, you're actually downloading an exe file so download it as I've done there it only takes just a moment or two here we are bump one two three and it's done and you can close your internet now what I do and what your um, be a good idea for you to do is there's the actual um, icon for this exe file um, run it through with your antivirus program and your malware program unfortunately that's going to take a moment longer isn't it but it does check it and if you've got any worries at all, hopefully they'll be alleviated by running these two little projects. There we are. It's nice and clean. I've never had problem from the uh, Softpedia website. So there we go. Let's run Little Painter. Uh, we get the usual warning. And there it is. This nice little um, desktop picture former. Now you can make this um, the the paint size as big as you like you can make it full screen and let the kids just run riot on there I mean you have a pencil it has sound as well yeah so you don't have to be brilliant at it you can use a brush whatever you can adjust the size of brushes if you look at the bottom panel here you can go big brushes small brushes uh, different brushes, ones with little bits on it. You can have different shapes to do. Go a bit, a bit further still. If you're really into envelopes, you can actually draw a mouth or whatever full of envelopes. Um, but you can put the car. There we go. Nice sounds as well that accompany the uh, drawing package. Uh, you can change the colour of the ink just by literally clicking on the uh, the palette up the top there. You see there we have a brown, a nice red, a blue. Hey, I'm becoming an artist all of a sudden. Isn't this wonderful? Have some green in there. We there we are. And all these shapes, whatever you want to do, have little arrows, uh, other little arrows, paw prints. There's so much to actually take in that it's just continuous learning stuff. Uh, we can draw lines, straight lines. We can put text in, enter the text here. Oh, here's your text block down at the bottom here. Hello world. Now, how original is that, eh? Um, we'll have a uh, nice little wavy font. Yeah, have it bold. OK. And there we have Hello World. Original text. We have a fill function here where we can choose a colour. Again, we'll have a, a pretty pink, I think, f for the young ladies out there. And we can fill it in just as simple as that. Pretty pink. Let's have a prettier pink. Oh dear, don't like that at all. We can undo that little move because it was a bit obnoxious. We have swatches of colour that you can pick up just as easy as clicking on them. Um, 
erase it. There we go. Erase the line. Yeah, it's um, yeah shapes we can do. We can do nice shapes. Yeah, and we can set the thickness of the lines if we want stamps. Um, nice little heart stamp. Raspberry. Pretty pink flower. Loch Ness monster by the look of it. And we can go pretty much mad, or the kids can. I don't know about the kids, you know. I've quite enjoyed playing with this myself. So you don't have to be a kid to use this. And don't be ashamed of, you know, letting your inner child out. It's cool. Yeah. Effects. You can do all sorts of grayscale effects. Colorization effects. And, and you just go on and on and on until you find the one you want. Dimming. With dimming, you can actually put the slider up there, you see, and, and make it whatever you want. Posterizing, whatever that does. Blurring works, makes it real blurred. You make it almost impossible to see, or just fractionally blurred. Uh, fish eye, whoopee. That's what fishes see. How do they know what fishes see? There we go. Mosaic, mosaics are good small visit look see oh absolutely gone bananas in there or not whichever the case may be effects extras now extras needs to go online i think not 100 percent certain and one criticism i do have whether it's worth anything or not we can put the train down just like that and if you see here there's a a choo-choo wagon but you have to sort of guess where it's going to go. It's a shame they didn't just have a little outline feature so that we could connect it to the train. Whether that's difficult to program or not, I have no idea. Um, but maybe the programmers, if they're listening to this, a uh, little bit of feedback. The, the extras are great. Little teddy bear there. I mean, you know, that's what kids want. Several pages, three pages full of this stuff. A cute little elephant there. Whoopee, look at that. That's great. But it you can't... I haven't seen it being reversed. You can't reverse it, as far as I can see. And you can't maybe do a lot of things that kids would maybe want to do with it. So maybe there's thought for a later version is that a little bit of outlining, perhaps, to see where it's exactly going to go wouldn't hurt. Uh, magnifier is great if you're doing a pencil drawing and want to fill in fine detail. And of course a convert. I'm not sure what convert does. Convert the colouring. Now oh, right from that to that at the bottom here. And that's it. This is the program. There's um, lots you can do. And certainly um, while I was looking at the program and uh, giving it a, a once over it kept me busy for some considerable time. At the top here we can print this out if we want to or we can save it um, if we want to. It's uh, it's not difficult and even the kids I'm sure would love to take home to show mummy and daddy the picture they drew on grandma's computer. We can save it. It will tell you where to save it. Its uh, file name is Project One. We can save it as a PNG, a JPEG, a bitmap or a TGA. I think JPEGs are the, probably the most uh, common and we'll call it um, we'll call it Howard's pick. Whatever. That's great. And we'll save it in Little Painter Projects. That's it for this demonstration. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's great fun on this one. What else can I say? It's great fun. Subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, which is Howard L. Hall and if you like this particular demonstration give me the thumbs up and as usual if you press that thumbs down button you're going to get viruses and nasty things it's just I, I just stay clear of the thumbs down button just tick thumbs up it's good certainly good for me anyway as I enjoy doing these uh, thank you very much for listening and I do hope you enjoy it